Hi viewers, welcome to Elamba Solution. Today we are going to see about single stage, single phase grid connected solar PV system in MATLAB. So this is a simulation model we developed for a single stage, single phase grid connected solar PV system. And this, this system consists of solar PV panel, uh, diesel link capacitor and then inverter. So inverter can be connected to the main grid and this inverter having a control logic that main control logic having mbpt plus uh, inverter control okay so here you can see that when you go inside you can see the pv array so here you can see that single pv array that means single pv panel voltage is to around 249.86 watts and then voltage at maximum power point will be 31 volt and then current at maximum power point is 8.06 amps okay so here you can see the uh, iv pv characteristics of the the cancer PV array so for 1000 watts per meter square so you can see that it can generate maximum power around 696 watts and the maintain voltage, voltage around 434 volt okay for 500 so it, it generated around 3486 3, watts for 100 watts per meter square it generated around 660.1 watts okay so it going to be connected to the uh, DC link okay so this is a DC link capacitor and the DC link capacitor will be connected uh, to the inverter single phase inverter so here we are using uh, 2 amp bridge inverter and it will be connected to the LCL filter and finally it going to be connected to the main grid so main grid uh, voltage is uh, uh, 230 volt 50 gets okay and then here you have that local load right so here we have that control right so this control known as NDPT plus inverter control so for that we need to measure the PV voltage and current we have to measure the DC link voltage we need to measure the uh, inverter voltage and current okay so when go inside right so this uh, uh, NDPT used to for uh, extract the maximum power from the PV array right so based upon voltage and current right it will be generated the uh, reference voltage right so here you can see that so it will generate the reference voltage so based upon that the pv and the pv voltage and the current okay so it will be provide the reference reference voltage and then uh, here we are measuring the dc link voltage right so here you can see that it will be compared and the process by pv controller so this will be generated the ID reference okay and then here you can see the here we are measuring that uh, uh, grid uh, current and uh, voltage right so that going to be converted into uh, dq form right uh, that means normal a b a a uh, that means a b form to dq form and then uh, based upon that uh, actual voltage and current the dq form and then id iq reference right it going to be processed via a current controller along with the feed forward decoupling control concept okay so finally we will get the control voltage in the form of d and q so next you have to convert that uh, d and q into ab form okay finally we will get the reference voltage that reference voltage is going to be processed via uh, four pulse uh, pyrolim generator okay sinusoidal pyrolim generator so it will generate a getting pulse so this getting pulse is used for control this inverter in order to transfer the power from the uh, pv to grid okay so here you can see that uh, we are uh, fixing the irradiation right so irradiation uh, for this pv system is 500 uh, initially it will be 500 finally it will be 1000 watt per meter square so we need to check the result of this uh, simulation right so here you can measure the uh, result of uh, uh, irradiation pv voltage and pv power so here you can measure the uh, uh, this is uh, uh, grid side uh, voltage and current right so this is so so this is grid uh, side voltage and current so this is a uh, uh, load side voltage and current so not load side once again so this is grid side okay and then this is uh, known as uh, voltage after inverter okay so this is voltage of voltage and current after inverter so this is uh, voltage and current at the uh, grid side and this is the power 
power of uh, solar PV inverter and uh, a grid side. So now I am going to simulate this model. So you can see the results. So when uh, irradiation equal to uh, 500 watts per meter square, the PV voltage maintained around 434 volt, and then you can see that the power, right? The power of the, the PV, right, maintained around the uh, 3500 watts, okay, up to 500 watts per meter square. So when irradiation change from uh, uh, 500 to 1000 watts per meter square, again the voltage will be maintained around 434 volt, and then you can see the power of the PV is maintained around the around 6917 watts okay so here you can see this so, so the power of uh, pv inverter during 500 watts per meter square right so the pv inverter power is around 3.45 kilowatt uh, for uh, 1000 watts per meter square the power is around 6.9 kilowatt right and here you can see the grid receiving power around minus 1.5 kilowatt and then uh, during that uh, sorry uh, when the 500 watts per meter square the grid supplying some power to the load right is around to minus 1.6 kilowatt and during uh, 1000 watts per meter square grid receiving power uh, around to 2 kilowatt because here we are using load so that load rating you can see right load rating is 5 kilowatt right 5 kilowatt and then uh, uh, two, 2 kilowatt uh, uh, reactive power right right because of 5 kilowatt right so initially you can see that right uh, pv generating around the uh, pv inverter supplying around only Three point four, right? So we need we need to send some power to the load because uh, load will be five kilowatt, right? So remaining power will be taken from the grid only. So that's why the grid uh, supplying some power to the load. You can see that the grid supplying around one point five kilowatt, right? And during that five hundred watts per meter square. So when uh, one thousand watt uh, watt per meter square, so grid supplying uh, that mean around uh, seven kilowatt, right? So that's why. Uh, uh, grid receiving around uh, 1.9 kilowatt from the PV system okay because PV having excess power so uh, the load receiving 5 kilowatt and remaining power will be sent to that uh, grid okay so this is the working of this model and also we can uh, see the graph of graph of the Uh, so this is the inverter voltage and this is the inverter current so here you can see that uh, the current uh, will be increased because of increasing radiation and here you can see that so this is the grid voltage and current okay so this is working of this model thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye